it was like reliving history. I go to the theatre quite a lot, but that is by far the best thing I've seen in years. I really enjoyed it. I'm feeling intrigued, actually, because I thought I knew the story about uh, Bashir and Diana and the interview, and because um, everyone thinks they know, and I learned things tonight that I never, I never knew before. Lovely, intimate theatre. I think the 360 stage of all was brilliant. No scenery, no props, hardly any props. You're on a rectangle, and I was completely drawn in. It was so intimate, and also the tension that the director created. It, it, it was very touching, it was very powerful. I'm pretty shocked. I think, like, knowing, growing up in an age where you didn't know Diana, never really knew about her, I think that was really educational. I didn't realise how much she was pressured into doing the interview. The unique uh, take that they have on it is also uh, really exciting and sort of takes you by surprise. And for that reason, I would, I would say you should definitely come along and see the show. It was very sad at the end, really. When... Oh, I felt de devastated for him. It's wow. yeah. The central performance is absolutely phenomenal. She's fantastic. We've seen quite a few Dianas, and this is one of the best ones. Beautifully executed by the characterization of Princess Diana by Yolanda. It really moved me. That's how I remember the interview, in, in the way she was dressed, the way she presented, the way she had a little head tilt, and Martin Bashir was exactly the same. I actually thought I was watching Diana and Bashir. Where the truth lies in the modern journalistic world, that's the most important point. You think you know the truth, but you don't, until you've watched the interview.